If you're familiar with Roblox, chances are you've heard of Flee the Facility. In this game, you play as an escapee trying to flee from a facility. Pretty straightforward, right? Now picture this. It's 9 o'clock on a school night. I could be responsible and go to sleep, but I think we both know what I'd rather do. Now the iconic weapon of the monster in Flee the Facility is a hammer. So I made one of those. Ta-da! Isn't it a beaut? Now beautiful or not, it doesn't really work yet. So if you don't mind me... Here we go. Now in Flee the Facility, the hammer doesn't actually hurt anybody, it just kind of flops them on the floor. Which is kind of hilarious to watch, but to script... <sighs> okay, let's try this out. That, that, that's not it at all. Let me change this real quick. Alrighty, take two. I'll be honest, that's actually really funny, but still not right. Take three. Now, I'm not disappointed that it's not working how I wanted it to. I'm disappointed because I let a Roblox character have better dance moves than me. I'm just joking around, but after that I made it so we can rope our boogieing little friend over here and we are good to go. The only problem is that we have nothing to do after we have him roped. And we can't just have him dance like this forever, can we? Boom! Freeze chambers. Can't dance while you're stuck in ice now, can you? That's what I thought. Now that we don't have to worry about that other guy, I create a computer to hack and an exit door to escape through. Only thing left to do is build a map, so I'll scale this up, drag this over a little bit, and BOOM! A full map completed just like that. And it's organized too. Now I also tried to get some gameplay for you guys, but what started out as an ordinary game of Flee the Facility quickly became a nightmare. All sorts of things unfolded, such as apparently unlocking the power of flight, having an out of body experience, and then even getting buried alive while we were playing. So I'll let you guys decide. Was creating Flee the Facility in 3 hours worth it? Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.